Hello and welcome. This is Greg French. Uh, we're going to be looking at Aries today. We're going to look at the grade book in this segment. Go ahead and log in. We get our screen here. We've got a little reminder uh, that we haven't submitted our attendance for periods three and six. We're going to go up and select grade book. Now, grade book opens up and immediately we see uh, Aries grade book maintenance. We've got some maintenance here. It says enters and leaves. We have students have left from these grade books. So we have one grade book here. Let's select it. And you notice there's an Alan Brun here who uh, is pending a drop. So we're going to go ahead and drop him. Smith that change. And Alan is now dropped. We have another uh, grade book up here. We have uh, students need to be added to these grade books. So we've got several students here that have come into this class. And we're just going to add all of these students. You know, so we hit this down arrow, we'll have a choice, either add or do not add. But we're going to go ahead and add all of them. Are you sure you want to add all these students? Yes. And submit those changes. Now, all those students have been added to our grade books. Now, we have some other links up here, or some other options. Edit the grade book, link grade books. We just did the enter leaves, manage grade books, final marks, scales, and backup. So I'm going to go ahead and select edit grade books. Now we have two grade books that have been created, the English and English 9. And if you come over here, it says edit and add new. We're going to add some new grade books. So we'll go ahead and select that. Over here is a list of our classes, new grade books. So we have, uh, I'll pull this window down here. We have periods 1 and periods 2 that we've created grade books for. Let's go ahead and create a grade book for English 3. And we'll select Next, our third period English class. Now, a third period English class, an English 9 class, uh, the grade is not going to range here. All we have is 9 through 9. We only have uh, freshmen. The start date is August uh, 31st. Uh, we can change that to uh, whatever, whatever works. I'm going to go ahead and change it to September 10th to correspond to our schedule. And then the end date will be... Uh, February 4th. So that uh, covers our semester. I'm going to go ahead and apply those changes. Now you notice we have a new grade book here, English 9. That's uh, the, the Y, I think it's for a year, where this F is for the fall. Uh, it's a ninth grade class. Uh, it has a start date of 9-10, end date of 2-4. And we can continue to add more grade books for the rest of our classes. We also have a fourth period, uh, teacher's aid only. Fifth period, is an English class. Let's go ahead and select the fifth period class. Next. Uh, again, this is going to be maybe a mixed class. Let's see. Now it's an 11th grade class. So we're going to go ahead and put 11 in here. And 11. Again, we can change the start dates to correspond to our semester. Go ahead and apply those changes. Now we have two ninth grade English classes. And one of the things nice about this is you can link your grade books. So when you uh, put assignments into one, those assignments will be all automatically added to the other grade book. So I'm going to go ahead and link. Now I've got, I'm going to go ahead and assign one to our first English class. I'm going to assign two to these two. This will actually link these two, and then I'm going to assign number three to our third. So these two will be linked, these two English nine. Any assignments I put in one will appear in the other. I'm going to go ahead and apply these changes. You can see up here, linking gradebooks together will cause all assignments and assignment type changes to apply to all gradebooks in a group. This means that if you change or add an assignment or assignment type, that change or add will apply to all the gradebooks. So I'll go ahead and apply that change. And now we have, if you notice, the first group, just one class. Second group includes these two periods or these two classes. And then our third group uh, is this period five class. So Let's see, enters and leaves, we've already gone over that, manage students.